So what's up guys, what's growing on? Got another delivery leaving out of the nursery this morning and we cannot keep up with plants over here. So since I've made an updated video on the nursery, they've really filled up almost all the space out here other than on this far north end where we don't have quite the coverage. I need to run another run of those Sinager uh, overhead irrigation heads and I'm kind of just waiting till I bump that fence out and we'll kind of expand shade nursery underneath those oak trees. So everything's looking really awesome. And I guess one of the first things that you could tell out here is I'm not getting any of the staining on the leaves anymore. I had a ton of questions um, about that filtration system, how it was gonna work. Well, I definitely wanted to run it for a couple of weeks and it's been about, I think six weeks now, about two weeks ago, um, the company had installed that and that was Mike with Aquatech um, Systems out of Tampa. I'll put a link for the description, um, a link for him in the description down below, just because I was so impressed. I've had so many different contractors come out here to work on the farm, different well companies, companies that supposedly were gonna do something and basically just rip me off we actually had a well company when i first moved in here my pump went out they came out they replaced it supposedly it was brand new that pump just went out you know three months ago and the guy that yanked it out said the one that they put in was an 05. i didn't move in here until 2014 so they got me on that one the guy showed me a brand new pump i must have walked away he dropped the crappy one in the hole um yeah so finding quality contractors in my experience is slim to none um, so when I found Mike with Aquatech, I was super excited. I mean, this guy sh showed right back up at 30 days to do an inspection, make sure everything was working properly. And you know how I could tell things are working. You could see these uprights. I mean, they're almost completely stained orange. Um, the mats even stained orange here. And you know, these new ones I put in are still just pure white. Um, he actually put a test pole in over here on that far end. And I know I'm going to get a ton of questions about what kind of system that is. And that's called an A... IO air injection oxidation system no chemicals I had 10 other companies come out here and tell me I needed to put chlorine injection chemicals this and that rid of rust you know things that were going to cost me $500 a month one company even it was like a thousand bucks a month for the chemicals for the volume of water remove I mean that's just nuts um, you know because my zones are a little bit larger not that I'm using a ton of water but because of the amount of water that's going out in each cycle they had to build a system that actually fit to it so I'm super impressed with the system I'll show you guys that here in a second but this is just a really a nursery update show you how filled up it's gotten out here I got some overhead yesterday with the drone even starting to stock some uh, bamboo some different clumping varieties again and you can see this space down along here is just where I'm not getting the great coverage so they haven't filled that up yet but the idea is within the next few months I'm actually gonna move the rest of this graceful out about another I don't know 60 yards to where that clump is over there and run it straight across and I'll end up with a secondary windbreak kind of on the edge of that bamboo giving this area as a whole shade nursery area kind of expanding our overhead irrigation because in my other shade nursery um, I am still hand watering all those gingers, all those turmeric, so it would be nice to save some time and labor and get this on a, a turnkey system like the rest of the farm. So, um, but everything's just pumping along, looking really good. And you can see, you know, here's those white uprights I was just talking about. I mean, look at the difference in these pipes. And, you know, it took me about two weeks, three weeks to get the system installed after we built it. So there's a light orange on the pipe on the ground, um, but the uprights all look fine. The plants look fine. and you know that is just an aesthetic appeal you know having that staining from the iron on the leaves but it made a huge difference in the look and the quality of the plants so super excited to see that the system's actually working i'm actually so excited i told mike in about a month and a half when i recover from all the spending we've done here i'm going to put another system over on the other side for our big greenhouse that we're converting i actually have one of these same systems installed on my house but it's a small residential scale the system we put in here is a big commercial one i'm gonna stop telling you about it let's go see it All right, so there's my big giant tanks. Oh, there's Mike's number. So this is Aquatech Systems of Tampa. Um, I got a referral from him from a friend off of Facebook. They use them a lot at their aquaponics company. He does all big farms, big stuff. Um, and I could tell you when Mike first came out, we originally designed this system to handle about 12 to 15 gallons a minute. Um, and he came out and he was putting in the one tank and we got to talking and I was really worried I was going to lose my volume. He said I would still have the same pressure, but I might lose a little bit of that volume. 
was Mike, I'm really concerned. I want to make these zones bigger. Um, you know, Mike even actually took the original steps of, uh, you know, hey, Pete, I'm worried you're not going to be satisfied with the system. Um, let me go ahead and design and build and give you an estimate on a larger system. So I ended up stepping it up, putting in two tanks, larger valves, so I can, you know, not only, you know, I got a, I got a, like a horse and a half or a two horse pump here. We've got awesome volume, awesome pressure. And my big concern was I didn't want to lose any of that pressure, any of that volume with the system. So it is almost exactly where it was. Really should have had this filter put in from the gecko. This is something they also put in. And this will take any of that sediment out. So I blow that out about once a week. Um, you know, and, and basically every night at 12 o'clock, this thing runs through its course where basically it's air injecting into the water and cleaning all of that iron out. So a lot of that, you know, I know on large farms, they put that water into a pond um, and it just oxidizes in the air. Well, this is basically doing the same thing without sucking out of the pond. You know, it's doing it within these tanks. So about every six months, Mike will come out. He'll do a hy uh, hydrogen peroxide flush on the tanks. When he came back from my inspection, he actually flushed my other tank. So I was really excited about that. Water already smells and looks better in the house, but really excited about the system. No chemicals, working really good. So thank you, Mike. That's definitely kicking some butt out here. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick nursery update, show you how quickly those areas filled up. And I probably had about 20 comments about this uh this water filtration system. So I was really impressed with these guys. It's nearly impossible to find quality contractors these days. But um, this week I'll have an update video coming on the greenhouse. We're getting the black mat put in there. We're getting the tables put in, putting a different type of overhead um, mist irrigation system in for these, uh, these trays we're gonna be installing there. So something I've never even tried before, kind of interested to play with some new irrigation. So quick little follow-up on the nursery filtration system quick little video hope you guys enjoyed this one if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and do so most importantly pound dirt